It's Friday morning, 7 a.m., and on the deck is an Ed Laverack microburst training session, which is going to be pretty explosive and anaerobic in nature. Therefore, I'm going to complement it by preceding it with four sets of explosive trap bar deadlift, and I reckon those two things will go quite well together. I also quickly want to touch on why I like to train fasted first in the morning, and therefore why I like to use an amino acid supplement. For me personally, I've found that training fasted helps the body convert fat into energy. And that's a great thing in terms of keeping the waistline under control, but also hopefully for La Mamotte, it's going to be accretive in terms of providing an additional energy source to supplement the carbohydrates I'm able to ingest over the course of an endurance event. Now, I train first thing in the morning, 6, 7, 8 a.m. I eat plenty of carbs the day before. Therefore, when I train, the muscle stores are already full of glycogen at the beginning. Definitely, for me personally, I don't like to eat ahead of a training. You don't want to eat much more than an hour and a half ahead of a training because it takes blood away from the muscles into the tummy in order to digest the food. So, generally speaking, I found it optimal to train fasted. But, if training fasted, I want to use an amino acid supplement. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein in order to reduce the breakdown of muscle during the training, but also aid the recovery. Now the Phil Richards Amino Work Capacity Supplement is a quality supplement. It isn't the cheapest, but I do think you pay for what you get because it has a great profile of all amino acids, including the nine essential amino acids that the body can't produce itself. And within that, it's got the right ratios of each, including 5,000 milligrams of leucine, which is the key amino acid that helps initiate the process of protein synthesis, i.e. repairing the muscle, or indeed stopping it from getting breaking down during a training. The body has a continual demand for amino acids in order to create proteins and build new cells, and that is exacerbated during training where there's a lot of stress and breakdown of tissue and muscle tissue, and also post-training where the body is trying to rebuild muscle tissue. Now, the amino work capacity supplement is zero calorie, um, it's from non-animal sources. It's water soluble, therefore it's very quick to get digested and into the bloodstream, into the muscles where it's needed. And it also helps with the production of energy in addition to helping reduce the breakdown of muscle tissue and help the process of recovery. Therefore, combining it with the coffee to spike the adrenaline and cortisol, which in turn helps the process of converting fat into energy, is an optimal way for me to train first thing in the morning, provided I eat enough carbs the day before. Well, I've been making nice progress on these recently, and I reckon I could get to four sets of 10 to 12 nice reps of good form, fast bar speed, no problem at all. However, today the main effort is the microburst training, which looks disgusting, and additionally on the Sunday I want to complete the four ascents of Alpha Zwift, each at four watts a kilogram or more, fingers crossed. So even more so than normal, I want to stay well away from failure and avoid any kind of fatigue to the muscles. So I'm going to stop each set at six reps, but keep each of the reps really explosive. And I'm hoping that that's going to warm up the nervous system, fire up the glutes and the hamstrings, and be accretive to the microburst training today. But also it greases the groove in terms of reinforcing good movement patterns for the body. Here we go. Yeah, they felt nice. Hopefully, the movement you'll see was nice and explosive, and the form felt good. 9.29. Just on the approach to Alpha Zwift, and then has set today's microburst session to emulate the kind of efforts you need during a race. Basically, 30 seconds at 140 to 180% of FTP, i.e. 420 to 540 watts, straight into one minute, at 80 to 90% of FTP, i.e. 240 to 280 watts. Repeat 10 times, that's 10 times. Five minutes recovery, then go again. Okay.
I'll report back in a second. Just starting the ascent about the Zwift. I'll go on 10.30. So here we go. First effort at 420 watts a mile. Nine to go. Really focusing on getting the breathing under control, expelling the oxygen. Sorry, expelling the CO2. Taking in the oxygen. This is very Ed Laverack. Anaerobic efforts into threshold. Here we go again for number two. Number eight coming.
that's horrendous. That is properly horrible. That's 14 and a half minutes. A big effort. And I am going to cut it short at just one block. I know if I do a second on top of Tuesday and Wednesday's training sets. Sorry, take two. And I am gonna, sorry. And I am gonna cut it short at just the one block. I know that in addition to the very high training stress, on Tuesday, which was 100 TSS over the hour race. And then the long sweet spot training on Wednesday. It's just gonna adversely impact on the main effort for the weekend, four times out the Zwift at four watts a kilogram consecutively. Apologies, but you gotta focus on the most important objective in the moment. So rather than complete the second block of microbursts, I instead elected to complete one ascent of Alpha Zwift at four watts a kilogram. I weighed in this morning at 62.6 kilograms, 63 kilograms is in the Zwift settings. And I focused very much on the pedaling technique, staying seated, keeping the cadence high in the 85 to 95 range, and focusing on just finessing the gears a little bit to keep the power in the kind of 245 to 265 range, averaging probably 255 over the climb, completing it in just under 59 minutes. I then descended, spinning the legs to help them recover, and then practiced one turnaround at the bottom of the climb to reboot the diesel engine and get back going at four watts a kilogram up to bend 21, and then finished off the training with a little bit more high cadence work. Tomorrow is gonna be focused on the upper body and some very high cadence recovery work. Then, fingers crossed, four decent ascents of Alpha Zwift at four watts a kilogram. So now on for a little bit of post-ride nutrition and of course work. My kind of Friday night treat, vegetable Thai stir fry. <laughs> 